Hey YouTube, so uh, I came across a very interesting Star Wars theory uh, posted by a user named Avi One Kenobi, and uh, this theory kind of caught my attention because it, uh, well, it was original and uh, was something I hadn't seen before. And uh, now this video was posted back in uh, late December. Uh, just a few days after the movie was released. I think it said December 21st was when the video was uploaded, so it's been up for a minute. Uh, so some of you might be familiar with this already, but uh, I came across it, and uh, it's actually a really interesting theory. And uh, first of all, I don't know that it's going to turn out to be true, because I honestly don't think that the people behind the uh, Star Wars franchise right now are this creative and are willing to be this new and this fresh and this outside the box. But uh, the theory posits that Rey could possibly be the reincarnation of Anakin Skywalker. Now, first of all, this brings a lot of very interesting uh, things into the storyline because as we know from The Force Awakens, Kylo Ren, the new bad guy uh, in the franchise, is a Darth Vader fanboy. Uh, he is the son of Luke Sky. Uh, I'm sorry. He is the son of Han Solo and Princess Leia, and that makes him uh, Darth Vader's grandson. And so he, uh, for some reason uh, that the movie didn't explain, uh, has felt some attachment to Darth Vader and uh, has look, taken Darth Vader as sort of a role model and is trying to be like Darth Vader. He even says in the movie, I will finish what you started. Uh, so he has taken it upon himself to sort of continue Darth Vader's evil mission. Now, uh, like I said, I don't know that this is going to happen, but it would be interesting because, uh, well, one, it explains a lot of the things that is wrong with Ray's character. Uh, Ray has, came off very much as a Mary Sue character in The Force Awakens. She was invincible. She was good at everything. She was an experience. She was doing the things that an experienced Jedi can do, having literally just learned about the Force yesterday. Now, uh, all these things started when she touched Anakin slash Luke Skywalker's uh, lightsaber. And, uh, and she got that Force vision, and ever since then, she just kind of... Uh, turn into a badass. Now a lot of people are saying well maybe she was trained and mind wiped and I think that believe it or not is more far-fetched than the reincarnation theory. I think that if she was the reincarnation of Anakin Skywalker if she literally had Anakin's soul inside of her body um, that maybe touching his old lightsaber triggered something in her that brought all of his training out of her and maybe she didn't even know what was going on maybe she didn't even realize fully what was going on yet uh, so I think that's that's a really interesting uh, that would be a really interesting way to go with the franchise it would be something new something fresh something never seen before and something completely original which after the uh, the derivativeness of The Force Awakens is something that the franchise sorely needs for episode 8. They need to do something new, they need to go to new places. Uh, they need to take some risks and they need to be a little bit dangerous. Now uh, another um, a twist, I, I'll say, on this theory uh, could also be that maybe she is uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi reincarnated. Uh, that would also be interesting and uh, and she does uh, exhibit a lot of Obi-Wan Kenobi characteristics. And it could also be that, uh, that Obi-Wan feels some guilt 
over the Kylo Ren, uh, you know, turn to the dark side because of uh, Kylo Ren's worship of Darth Vader and Darth Vader, of course, being Obi-Wan Kenobi's greatest failure. Um, but I, I still think the, I think the Anakin Skywalker connection would be much better for the uh, franchise. It would be able to take it into a much better direction. And, you know, the final battle would be, you know, Darth Vader as Rey uh, versus Kylo Ren, who wants nothing more than to be Darth Vader. Um, so I, I thought that was really interesting, and uh, I thought I'd do a video on it. Uh, I didn't do a Star Wars video. I did my review on the Blaze, and that was enough for me. Uh, that consumed a good portion of two weeks of my time, replying to comments on there. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the theory. I think it's a uh, it's a great way to take the uh, the franchise and. And she has to, at some point, realize that she has Anakin Skywalker's soul inside of her, or Obi-Wan Kenobi, or whoever. But, uh, but Anakin Skywalker is the best way to go, because uh, by the third movie, she will fully know who she was in her previous life, and that would be extremely interesting for uh, her to interact with Kylo Ren and tell him, you know, be able to say, look, dude, don't go down the path that I went down. Um, so that would be extremely interesting, and uh, I'd love to see that happen, but like I said, I don't think they're that creative, and I don't think that they're, uh, they're willing to take that much of a risk uh, with the franchise. But who knows? We'll see. Uh, all right, thanks for listening, and uh, I'll see you next time. Hi, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Uh, be sure to check me out on Facebook and Twitter. And don't forget to head on over to The Blaze and check out my weekly column where I do re movie reviews and general Hollywood industry commentary. You can find the links for all those things in the description below. Have a nice day.